The BCI bounced back beautifully in October, regaining 6.8 index points to 88.4 and moved away from the 22-year low in September to levels last seen in April. September, unfortunately, every, every, all the bad things converged. It was export, it was the rand, it was the share market. But in, in October, actually, those, all those things turned around and some uh, like retail sales also added to it. But the big movers were actually export volumes, uh, the share prices. And, and retail sales. Not too much cause for comfort, so we should be pleased that it's not fallen further, uh, but let's not get too excited about that fact. Uh, you know, when you get excited about not falling, then actually you're in a bad way. There was some good news for JSC investors. The market was up 6% in October. Undoubtedly, though, the big event of the month was the relative success of the Fees Must Fall campaign, which saw students winning concessions on studying fees in 2016. But this highlighted another issue. I think but what's a good thing about it, we face reality in terms of making choices on how public finance is actually dependent on the economy. And everybody is just not just calling for things, it's actually making choices for us as individuals. And to get the economy growing, then the choices will be easier. Economists have long argued that some government economic policy hasn't been properly thought through and has hindered growth. But there now appears to be a new approach to economic policy development by Finance Minister Nene, which may make a difference. And if there really is going to be a serious and good faith socio-economic impact assessment on all new policies and measures, and hopefully all existing major ones like labour law, financial services control and so on, then we have reason to be opt optimistic. While the bounce is good news, it's not certain that this is the change in direction of a trend. We're going to be watching it quite closely though. The issue really is that South Africa is performing below its peers when it comes to economic growth. And that's something that needs to be tackled. I'm Angelo Coppola for CCTV in Johannesburg.